currently 8 a.m. in the morning. We've come to check out this abandoned house just here. You can see all the smashed windows. It is from where that I've been before, but I've since found out there is cars here, which I didn't see last time, so I'm gonna go find them first. Citroen Dolly car, the Triumph Herald. Believe it or not, we are in the middle of summer. So there's nettles everywhere. Yeah, two CV. Diane? Good camping, that, don't you? Put a little bed in the back of it. Is that like a heater or something? There's all the computers here. Proper man cave, this. <laughs> Routine services Fiesta, Escort, Capri, Granada. They're not this one, is there? Cortina, maybe? Sierra? Proper, proper old Hoover. Thirty thousand, I reckon. Yeah. This one's got nothing inside it. Oh my god, have you seen where the gear stick is in this one? It's got. It's behind the steering wheel. It's got bench seats and it's got like the gear stick behind the steering wheel. That's mad. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Yeah. What did I just see? Oh, so close. Look at that. Look at this. How does this work? Is that drive? This is D V A. I don't get it. it looks like gears on that like one, two, three, four. And then reverse. How does that work? Is that a heater? Oh wow it is. This car is so basic inside. The heaters are just like two openings either side. You just open it and it's that's it. That's your heater coming out. Oh bonjour. Well oh, there's a gear stick there. So that is that the gear stick. Oh, I don't get it. Any big Citroen fans out there might know. Tell me what was you got gears on here like. Got reverse, one, two, three, four next to that, but then you've got that over there, so I'm not sure. Is that the The one on the other side? Yeah, that's where my locks. It could be. Oh, at the bottom? Yeah, it looks like, like a pole, doesn't it? Oh my god, there's an animal in here. There's a, there's a, there's a massive, massive set of bones. Yeah. That ain't a beard. Can't be a beard. Or is it? Jesus Christ. I've got a key for it here. For a Renault. Oh, I don't think that's the key for the Renault. That looks like a front door key. That's Renault. There's no Renault in here. Where is there? And we've got this Triumph Herald. 1200cc. Look at that. Nice one. And beautiful lights. Look at them. Amazing. Yeah, I'm just kind of noticing with this one. I'm not sure if it is a 2CV. It might be older. And you've got the, the open roof look. But looking at the door lines, and you've got the, the line that comes right into the bonnet here. And these ones 
and it looks taller than a 2CV and I think it's also longer so I'm not sure if anybody can correct me on what it is but I think it could be an early 2CV or what the 2CV was, was basically based on I know some of the old Citroens used to have the, uh, the lights that turn that one's turned, I think it's just broken and this, this Triumph's gorgeous that is a proper British classic that there gorgeous car of course it is a, it's a shame about the condition that they're both in they're both filthy dirty but what a, what a nice model and yeah, you've got to love the old Herald check it, Triumph and the wood panelling inside there, like, oh and the blue leather god that's nice isn't it gorgeous car stunning car Okay, I've just been taking a few pictures of those cars. Do you like my uh, torch set up by the way? <laughs> Got it attached from my, my bag. <laughs> Saves me having to hold it constantly. Anything in there? Huh? Anything in there? Hey, you left your toy here. What's that? Oh my god. You left your toy here. <laughs> <laughs> come to this house before with Susie, Fort Spooky and her husband Matt. We investigated the main property. And we did come at night time and I had no idea that these cars were sitting out back. I'd love to have come that day and seen them, but unfortunately, I completely overlooked them. Didn't even come around the back way. It was probably too overgrown and you can see here it's all just nettles, really. But yeah, these two cars sitting here, guys. Classic Triumph and a classic Citroen. <laughs> you think about it, if you've got these trees surrounding your property. Quite a big garden, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. How are you? Wait, Zach, it exactly the same as that one at the other house. I'm taking it to the road. Yeah, may as well. Huh? Cardinal. Oh. So guys, we've just come to our new Airbnb and look at the state of the place. Look at it. It's been left a right mess. I mean, they've even left photos from whoever was here before. They've left, I mean, they've had some sort of party here. Look at this, crazy. Some girl's left her handbag here. Just, what a mess. Definitely gonna get money back from that. Yeah. I mean, the location's great, but like, what a mess they've left the place. I wonder what kind of party they've been having. Let's go check the house out. Wasn't a lot in the house, but some really interesting letters. To I think there's going to be that pool over there somewhere. I don't fancy walking through all them nettles though. Okay, we've got this barn here. There's another barn at the back over there. I think they were like egg farmers in their old age. Saw the sign earlier saying about free range eggs or something like that. Oh, not a lot's changed in here. Germanic wonder of work. Tells out of this thing. It's the knit master. So I was just wondering if from here there's anything more around this way. It's all over growing, isn't it? That's the problem. Well, I never understand the point of nettles. Like what, what do we need them for? And these shelves here, they look like maybe you'd store chickens in them. You have eggs coming out because you've got the bit where they fall and then these these parts here where they can be collected at the end of or what have you looks like they had eggs for sale that's what the sign said so probably a bit of extra cash you know and sort of retirement era what's this stuff 
powder colour. That's what all this is, I'm thinking. I thought it was rat poison last time. I'm just gonna have a little gander around that house, see what else is left, if anything. It's starting to rain as well. Just what we need. Hopefully we get some good locations today. We have got a lot lined up. Check it guys. It's inside the house here. here we go. I caught something stuck to me back. Oh, just a piece of wood. I didn't dare move because the glass was falling. Wow. Yeah, a big hole. <laughs> okay, hopefully I didn't delete anyone there. There was a house directly across the road, but as I was coming in, my bag caught a piece of wood, and as it, because it's so rotten, it pulled the wood away. Some panes of glass fell out, and luckily it didn't break. It just, just fell down. I heard dogs barking after from across the way, so. I'm not here to damage anything. Look at this, guys. Remember this? If you saw my main channel video, you might remember some of this stuff. These photos look. So I did name this place the War Veterans Cottage because a lot of these letters I'll just pick them up and show you. So look here, look. It's 22nd of January 1944. My own darling, I hope you and Diana are keeping better. And it's a uh, letter sent from from the war, basically. Yeah. Um, mail, letter card. That's sad. Um, mail, letter card. RAF. Got all these, look. Seen more any more dates on it, though. It's sad that these are all here. I said it last time, and I'll say it again. You know, this is this is someone's life. You know, they served in in the war for our country. You know, and this person's legacy is just lost forever. If this house gets knocked down one day, all these letters will be gone forever. That's the sad thing about it. now because if anybody heard all that noise and we got we got trouble haven't we <laughs> same the same machine got a diary here from 98 
screen video projector. For your slides, click, click. See my face through there. Uh, I can see myself. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Anybody ever play a game on PC called Monkey Island? Anybody remember that game? I know that like me and my sister used to play it like a lot. There was, I think there was three games altogether. There was a lot of memories in my mind from the very first game. It's an awesome game. Okay, we've come to a second location of the day. Might do a complete separate video here, but we will see. See what it's like when we're inside. But this one has been passed to Greg. It's, uh, it's called the Doctor's House. Oh, it's getting on my hair. Got caught out in the rain earlier, it's probably that. So, um, yeah. Looks like there's a few bits inside this one as well. Right on the main road, which is the problem. Oh, it looks like it looks a big place to be fair. That's not. Thing is, if it's been sold, because there's a sold side, if it's been sold, someone might have been unlocked it. You know what I mean? Hmm. I did push the front door and so it's locked. There's an open window here. <laughs> A few things inside there. A few bits. We were told the back door was open. It's not open anymore, so looks like someone's been in. Closed it. That's what I'm thinking. If the site has sold, I'm just looking down here. You can see all this fresh, fresh brick like dust. And I can't see anything up there. It's almost like as if there's been someone drilling. I'm gonna give them a knock, see, they might let us in. We've got Domino's Pizza. <laughs> can't win them all. This MG, oh, it's a Mercedes, old Mercedes. Caught sight of it when it come out of the side street. I don't want to stare too much. I'm going now, mate. <laughs> you can hear that noise behind. I'm not sure what it is, but I saw the red iris fly over earlier. I only caught the, the back end of it on camera and didn't have any sound because I didn't have a chance to see my mics on. I just stopped at this Morrison's for a quick um, food break. While I was still inside, Greg was out here and they said they flew past twice again, once with the jet. And then once after in like a formation, just the red arrows. I think they're the red arrows anyway. And the last time they flew sort of over that way, I'm hoping they come back again or we'll go round. I want to catch it properly on camera. 
Spillage and crisps. Have to try these, like anybody, uh, gluten free. These are quite nice skull cavies <laughs> from Asda. Just like Pringles. To be fair, they actually taste okay. They taste like Pringles, so not all is lost. I'm trying to get in my bag. There we go. Let's see what I've got to drink. Oh, I've got a Red Bull. An iced coffee. Mm. Yeah, save them for later. Just wanted to uh, wanted to know what I got really. Anybody likes cottage cheese? Try the Polish stuff. Serek. We 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 wajski. It's a lot nicer than uh, the stuff we have over here. Highly recommend it. I brought a, a dog dog bag today. Brought this dog bag today for my rubbish. Because I'm always leaving. Well, not leaving rubbish in the car. I take it all with me. But I'm always having to then collect it all up. So, yeah, I brought some with me today. I'm going to leave this chicken in the car. Hopefully it doesn't go too warm. Because my bag isn't big enough to put it all in. Guess how many times they've gone past? None. None. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm studying with my, with my camera ready now. So you need to put your camera away. That's it. I'm, I'm going to leave it out until we're far away. Look back, don't look back. Mm. Look at this crazy guy. His gun. I like these nice simple ones. But the simple ones are always on fucking main roads. Train tracks. Where's the train going flying past now? Oriental buffet. So, I'll tell you what the plan is now. We are currently on our way to another location, but I've spotted this place on the side of the road. I thought it was an Indian because I have driven past this before, but it is a Chinese, so I was sort of wrong. Are you live, yeah? Got a good signal. So, so. I'm seeing a lot of um, kitchen, but I'm not seeing any restaurants. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. Whoa, stinks. <sighs> oh, yes. It's pretty, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Wow, more kitchen. Look at this, look at this. Kitchen, more kitchen. And look how small the restaurant is, really. Oh, there's a train coming past. It's gonna be a train, guys. It's gonna be a train. Hopefully it's not a slow one. I wanna see it go flying past it 100 mile an hour. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, one, two. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Old fireplace here, look. Hmm. Yeah. I like the nice plant features on the wall, though. Gives it a fallout vibe. Let's 
it's quite a big place actually. It's quite misleading from the outside. It doesn't look that big when you come inside. You realise it's a lot bigger. Is there a door there? Yeah, there is. Let's go check out what's around here. You'll have to, <laughs> you'll have to excuse all the uh, all the glass sounds. It's everywhere you walk, there's things. You can't really help it. There's a lot of things on the floor. Hope nobody comes in here and does investigations because this place ain't going to be haunted, is it? Oh my God, guys. We're gonna go and investigate an abandoned Chinese restaurant. Yeah, this place is extremely damaged. Extremely damaged. It could have been a nice place though when it was open. Nice and spacious. Like this, this like sort of pierced back roof. But it would have been cold though, you know. I don't think that's gonna keep much heat in, is it? Let's see what's going on down here. We have more toilets. Ooh. That's creepy. Ooh. Toilets, toilets, toilets. Oh, there's upstairs. Oh man, it's like a pub over this side. This side's like a pub. Wow. Oh God. Look at the train there, look. We are right by the train track, so I'm wondering if it's Wondering if there was like a station house here or something, or if it was a pub at one time. Could have been, could have been just a pub. And then they built onto the back, Chinese restaurant. And now it's closed down for good. Beatles story. This in Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, Liverpool. So there's the Liver building. So basically this couldn't be further away from where it's from. From here to Liverpool, it's got to be a good three, three and a half hours. This part could be haunted, guys. It's an old part of the building. Could be. Check this old clock. 20 to 6. Check out what's upstairs. Upstairs here. See what's up here, eh? So far, I haven't made any separate videos. There's not been an awful lot to film in the places we've been to, but yeah, so far, everything that we've done is in this, this vlog. Okay, just step on. It feels quite dangerous, to be honest. Don't know how far I want to really go through here.
Hmm. Looks like office. Here's just an office, maybe. Let's just go try and get through here without falling through the floor. We've got this really old fireplace there. Looks antique. Nothing much else to see. Nice features though. I don't know what part of this floor I trust, so yeah. Seems better here, like. I still can't trust it though. someone would spot me if I just stood here for a half oh, as long as it takes waving at people hello hello another small train two carriages or do you reckon we're gonna have a big train this time 13 carriages. It's coming. Let's see. People are starting to queue up. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I reckon it's gonna be a disappointing two carriages, three carriages again. One, two. Oh, that was disappointing. Here's my biggest fan. Okay, we're gonna continue on to the original location we were going to. Getting a bit thirsty now. I think I might get my Red Bull out soon. Gotta try and beat this traffic. Don't wanna get stuck at the train tracks. Let's go. Oh. spotted this in this tree guys I pulled up and I noticed it it's, it's tacked to the tree look it's father's love letter I was thinking it was left here by someone but then I realised it's all religious stuff this letter comes from the heart of God to tell you that he loves you Yeah, someone's been driving down here, like. Don't know. Obviously. Yeah, someone's definitely been driving, so all the grass is flattened, isn't it? It looks abandoned, but it appears that someone must be using the land. Yeah, it's all falling down in here, look. Like. Hmm. There we go then. Mystery sold. Public Broadway. Yeah. No trespass. Make sure your foot doesn't go over the edge. This ain't been used for a while, look. Yeah. Cover it in grease. Wow. You could literally turn that into a camper. Could be a Saab. Yeah, Saab. 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 Com. Com. Combi. Combi coupe. Saab Combi Coupe. Guess how many miles it's done? 40,000. 
104,063. Ford Escort. Mm. Here we have an old Saab. Saab 99. There's a, there's a red light which says fasten seat belts in it. Let's see the Nesco or an Orion anyway. And then we have a Citroen. And then I have no idea what that is. It's like a Mitsubishi or something. Could be, I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. The um got like the squared lights at the back, like the plastic panel. Yeah, yeah. Wow, blue leather seats. Seen them seats. The whole seat's like blue leather. Just covered here in green. That'd have been a sick car back in the day, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wooden dash, light blue, uh, like paintwork and blue leather seats. <laughs> I bet he's tested the suspension and that, hasn't he? I bet he has, yeah. Rita Sue and Bob too. It's got ashtrays in the back. Yes, really nice location to be honest. Really nice house. Comes with its comes with its own cement mixer. Jesus, that's massive. What they cementing? A great pyramid. Mm. Oh yeah, some records and books. Mm, a record player. Lots of paperwork. Yeah, in a way. <laughs> Thousand recipe cookbook. The new seekers. Beg, steal or borrow. Scottish Widows Fund. Insurance thing. Oh, there's a piano here, but someone's tipped it. Yeah. Oh, there's two pianos. Both been tipped over. What was the point in tipping them? There's a building there, I'm wondering if it's an outdoor toilet or something. Do you reckon? Was there a toilet in that house? Was there? Yeah. Was there? Upstairs. I was going to say, there's a brick building just here, I'm wondering if it's like an outdoor toilet. Okay. Oh my god, what is that? Something random sticking out of the nettles there. You never know what you're going to find at a farm. You could find old cars, tractors. Or just something random, like you just, you just never know what you're going to find. A shotgun, anything. And to be honest, if I owned this much land, like I said earlier, I would keep it all as wildflower, but I would definitely plant trees and hope that I can get like a forest and have my own forest. As long as you keep people out, it's all for a spider web. As long as you can keep people out, you've literally got your own forest. It's an abandoned zoo. Not the same one as we've previously done. I need to get out of this water, to be honest. I need a wee wee as well. I'm just gonna kind of walk around the perimeter, see if there's any ways in. I'm wet, I'm dirty. At this point, I just don't care anymore. But we've got into the grounds, and now it's just a point of whether or not we can get into the building itself. Well, this is, this is the zoo area, unfortunately. Might not be able to get into the building, but this is some sort of zoo kind of thing. So my GoPro just went flat, I had to change the battery over. And just before it went off, I was just saying, you know, these, these here, they've got to be for, for monkeys, aren't they? Like, those swinging ropes and things. It's got to be monkeys. It won't be birds, it won't be, it won't be anything else. Monkey enclosures.
Don't put your fingers through, it'll get bitten off. Okay, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be filming a complete separate video here. I might, again, just all, include it all in this, this video because it depends really on how big it actually is. Hopefully there's no um, dead animals in this one. I found a meerkat in the last one. I have a video up on my main channel with that. Quite a sad thing that I found. But in that video as well, I found some spider. I don't know if they were skins or dead spiders. Don't even want to talk about it. Made me feel sick on the day because I am absolutely terrified of spiders. It's not something I expect to see. Not a tarantula anyway. This is just like the other one. I think it's a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, but it's just like the other one. Is that real? Yeah, it's full on real, that is. A dying bamboo tree. God, that's, it's a shame, not only for animals, but it's also a shame for the plants, really. I mean, some of these are like proper, full on exotic plants. They are real, they're all real. They're all real trees. Sad, really. Look, they're dying, look. All the leaves are falling off. The jungle. Can hear car doors. Hmm. Nothing really to see in here, just a load of bits of paperwork and stuff. Nothing too interesting. Look at this old snorkel. <laughs> I used to have a snorkel like that. A lot of rain's really coming down now. Oh, it's getting heavy. It's just what we need, isn't it? Rain. I wonder when this place closed. I have no idea when it closed, but there's mold everywhere. It's quite a mess. The trees are all dying. They're not going to get a great deal of water. Even these, look, is that just marks because they're dead or is that mold? Even the plants are all covered in dust. I'll climb through the tiniest little hole and then realise that big hole's there after. I'll show you the tiny little gap that I went through. Like an absolute idiot. I keep getting my bag caught on everything. Yeah, I'll climb through this, look. This tiny little gap here. I don't know how I managed to get through it. Must be because I've been to the gym a few times this week. This bag's gonna cause me so much hassle today. I've already taken out a door with it. Don't know if you can see that. MF in camera. Look, there's another one here. They've covered the place in cameras. Well, looks like it's gonna be fenced off all the way around anyway. Oh my God. There's a camera right down there. Oh my days. We're gonna have to just go through it, aren't we? Ah, you. Say again. Maybe. I don't know. We haven't climbed over anything. I ain't seen no signs, apart from that one. What's War Nang mean? I'd say this is something to do with the RAF, if that's an old RAF site, now turned into businesses. Okay, I'm just uh, watching the fence where we came in. 
There's a big hole in the fence, but there's cameras all around the site. One went off. He was saying like, it's like an automated warning, blah, 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 you know, all that. But we're around the side now, I'm just kind of, someone's walking past. Somebody's there. Yeah, guys just walk past. With a hoodie on though. But he was having a good look in. I'm just gonna stand here for a minute. Kind of feel like, well, I don't know what I feel like. Guy walked past, but wearing like just a hoodie. Just some guy, yeah. Just wearing, just wearing like a blue hoodie, like a dark, yeah, light blue hoodie. Yeah, he went that way. But he had, he had a look in, but. Okay guys, I'm going to do a main channel video, so I'm not going to include any more of this in here. It's a really interesting place though, so stay tuned for the video. If you're this far in the video, by the way, don't forget to put a like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And I'll see you after we've explored this place. back out of the building now. I did put my camera on charge, it doesn't seem to have charged up at all. So yeah, we're back at the front. There's that big camera facing us. Fantastic looking building. I'm gonna grab a couple of thumbnails. And if you didn't catch my live on Instagram, go check that out, because it is now down as a reel. And I went live for members on YouTube. So if you're not a member, join. Join the membership program. Warning, this is a public area. Please come in. Woo. One more time for us. Warning, this is a restricted area. Please keep away. Warning, this is a restricted area. Please keep away. I'm not even sure if people are going to be able to hear me. What? <laughs> <laughs> My mic's under here somewhere. <laughs> Oh, my teeth. It's so windy and cold. Yeah. Sensitive teeth. Wow. Oh, it's gone cold now. I'm glad I brought my jumper. Jesus Christ. This better be worth it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the wind's picking up. Look at, the, look at the water getting across the field, like the mist. You see it? Yeah, it is. Sandstorm of water. <laughs> oh. Feet are soaked. I've actually bought a. Uh, I've actually brought a change of socks today. Yeah. So far, I haven't needed them. Now I do. But my shoes are wet as well. I don't know if my nose is running or just wet. This better be worth it. This is a ruin of a barn. Absolutely full of cow shit. And there's Glebe Farm. Full of cow shit. There's the farm, guys. Oh, I don't know if that's the way in. Oh, if we'll go around, no idea. Do you reckon? Oh, there we go. Nothing in there. I've walked beer for nothing. Oh, let me send you a pin. 
and now I've got it as well, I don't know where. Hope it wasn't from Piss Flaps Explores. Doesn't like me. Blocked me. I'm just gonna go ahead and blame Piss Flaps for this one. Yeah, he deserves it after all this. All the piss flapping he's done. Sending dodgy pins. It's <laughs> it's time it's uh, it's time to out him finally. So yeah, piss flaps coming for you. Fucking okay, seems higher this side. <coughs> Don't even want to know what my hair looks like. Okay, this one is a big, big, big mansion for sale for £750,000. And there's a big, big pool at the back. Fingers crossed we can get inside. There's your way in, guys. There's your way in. Let's see if there's an easier way in, because I've learnt my lesson over the years. You go in, straight in when you see a way in. Not always the easiest way in. Look, see, ah, oh, better window here. Ah. There we go. What have I just said? You know what? Probably can do another, another main channel video for this one. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna get my torch out, set up. So uh, I'll only include a little bit in this video. There's gonna be a complete separate video. go oh you're beautiful aren't you hey it's okay i'm nice i'm nice and a stroke and a stroke oh come on then come here god you're beautiful you're beautiful aren't you hey nice hot breath yeah come here let me stroke you oh you're gorgeous aren't you hey it's there we go, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, you're gorgeous. I'm breathing to my camera. <laughs> Got anything you want to say? <laughs> you got anything you want to say to the camera? <laughs> you can't eat that, it's a microphone. <laughs> You are absolutely beautiful, you are. Let's get your hair out your eye. Oh, you're an absolute stunner. Yeah, you're a stunner of a horse. Look at them eyes. Oh. God, you're gorgeous. Aren't you, mate? Hey? You're absolutely gorgeous, mate. Check this guy out. He's gonna lick me. Don't bite me. <laughs> I can't have the microphone, that's my microphone. We talk into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna kiss you. Can I kiss you? <laughs> what do you want my arm for? Hey? What do you want my arm for? You're just a beautiful one, aren't you? Hey? You're beautiful. About three hours from home. Been out since 6 a.m. It's gonna be a late one. So that's gonna pretty much conclude today. We are gonna be heading home now, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new, check out my main channel, Explore Beyond, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.